Welcome to another episode of On Enter Flash. In these tutorials, I will be teaching you about ActionScript 2. And the reason why we would want to learn ActionScript 2 is because a lot of uh, browsers and uh, uh, devices still use lower level Flash uh, ActionScript. So it's a good idea to still learn ActionScript 2. It's actually a great idea. AS2 and AS3 together you you'll be a champion so let's go to flash file action script 2 and I have it pretty plain nothing amazing going on here and what you want to go to is window in window you want to go down to your actions so your actions panel will show up for the most part this tutorial will just be based in this uh, part of flash so let's get down to the first order of business and that is to learn about uh, that is to learn about uh, variables. So let's create our first variable, and that is txt equals single quote hello world. Closing the single quote and a semicolon. For all of your actions, for the most part, you will uh, always end with a semicolon. This is this is syntax. Syntax is the way you write things. For instance, if you write a sentence, it has to end with a period exclamation exclamation. Okay, uh, moving on or a question mark. So that's the way this works. Every command that you do in Flash needs to end with a semicolon. Very important. Uh, right now we created a string, and strings must be in single or double quotes. You can see that it turned green so keep that in mind and this equal sign is not actually it doesn't mean equal txt is not equivalent to the string hello world what's actually happening is that this equal sign is saying that hello world is assigned to this txt variable alright now that means that hello world is in txt so what, how do we know that it's in txt? We're going to write, we're going to call a function that's going to output what the contents of txt is. So we'll write trace, open parentheses, and you can see right here it says message. And that's what basically you can do. You can put a message in this. And we already assigned the message to txt, so we're going to type txt in there. Txt. Close parentheses and like all the commands a semicolon to end and end it let's test the movie the way you test the movie is you go to control inside of control you go down to test movie and you see in the SWF you have nothing to show but let's move that aside and let's look at the output your output window should have shown up and you should now have hello world in there so wow look at that you've did you've written your first uh, flash program let's move on and do something more exciting let me delete this trace function and close this SWF I'm going to collapse my actions panel and what I want to do is go to the text tool right here make some large text and I'm gonna go back to my selection tool and I'm going to change where it says static text. You want to change it to dynamic text, and you want to give it. Uh, you want to give this uh, a name. So I'm going to name it txt uh, box. Now we have it. In, now this text box has a name, which is txt box. And the reason why we named it is so when we go back to our actions, we can apply uh, code to the txt box. Right now you're saying uh, current selection uh, cannot actions applied here. Okay. You What we're doing is we're writing all our code inside of uh, our frame and I'll explain that to you right now. We Since we have the text box selected it's thinking that we're trying to write code inside of the text box. We don't want to write code inside the text box. I'm going to drop down the timeline and in the timeline there is a A and this is where we have all our actions. So when you see a frame with a small a on it, that means that there's actions inside of that frame. So now when we look at the text box 
or not the text box, but the actions panel, we see the actions that we have written. And I want you to keep in mind that where it says actions hyphen frame. So you always know where you are. So sometimes if you're writing code in a uh, movie clip, which you're not going to do, that's a bad idea. You'll, you'll see that actions hyphen movie, but always write your actions inside of a frame. Okay. Now we know that inside of this text box, we don't have anything inside of it. We didn't write anything. But since it's a dynamic text field, we're going to apply the txt variable that we just created to that text box by simply writing this command, which is txt. Remember, we named it txt box dot text. This is referring to what's inside of the dynamic text box. You're saying, all right txt box dot text and we're going to assign that text inside of the text box to the text or string we just created that variable we created so we're saying txt which is assigned hello world so txt think of it as hello world is now assigned to the text box so let's test the movie go to control test movie now look at that our dynamic text has hello world. It's amazing. So that's just a, a basic thing that we can do. We can apply more things so when you do a certain thing or press a certain button that the that the text will change. Well this is just a brief introduction just getting you used to some of the things and in the next tutorial we're gonna get even heavier into the action script and we're going to do a lot more stuff so stay tuned to uh, see the next episode this is worth uh, if you like these videos make sure that you subscribe um, rate and comment on my video thanks a lot for watching